Mine. Wet, 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 mm-hmm. here on BBC Coventry and Warwickshire. And uh, it is Marion in for Vic this afternoon, and uh, I've got a great couple of guests coming your way in just a few minutes' time. I'm just going to get my microphone sorted out in this studio. Make way for two birds. Early chaps is what I need to do. <laughs> it's only big enough for me in here at the minute. Hang on. With you in a tick. Made in Coventry and Warwickshire. Amazing. Come down to the Good Night Festival because the atmosphere is brilliant. Coventry, showing the colours, good crowd, good music. Absolutely amazing. Lovely vibe. The best free festival in the whole of the UK. We're now on the foot ferry. I've been Stratford on Avon. There's just one massive chain under the river. Chains, loops under the river. Yeah, I'm doing quite well here, yeah, one handed. Really <laughs> Can you take over? It's really yeah, hard work. Yes, I do. If, as a plan, they wanted to save money by switching off lights, what, what would you say to them? I would say to them, I used to go to my friend, look, this is our youngsters we're talking about, this is our kids, our future of our country we're talking about. We are killing our future with our own hand just for a few pounds. Made in Coventry and Warwickshire. We are BBC Coventry and Warwickshire. Right, we're sorted. Someone's smiling in this studio. <laughs> I am tempted at this point to start shouting out, Uzi, Uzi. No, no. <laughs> All right, banger. Absolute pleasure to be joined in the studio by local wrestling legend, of course, Banger Walsh. Hello. Hello. How, How are, are you? you? <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> I won't mind you up. This is your tune, is it? Well, yeah, he introduced me on television for about 20 years, I suppose. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the world of sport theme, of course. And I'm just surprised. Is it not just play every time you put one foot in front of the other? No, it's on my phone, you know. It's it's been a ringtone on my phone. It doesn't surprise me at (laughs) all. Uh, Also joined in the studio as well with John Nursel. Hi, John. How are you? Hi, not too bad. Uh, Now, you go this chap and you're going for it for another night of wrestling. What's all this about? Uh, It's it's an idea that came up a few years ago and got shelved um, due to problems. But, uh, yeah, it's... uh, all old world of sport guys and lads from all over the UK, even from uh, the States now and from Australia, all getting together. And there's a death between me and Banger Walsh and I wouldn't call him <laughs> old. And he sat right beside you. I was just having that same thought. <laughs> I'm surprised you're not out in primary place right now. <laughs> he obviously likes hospital. <laughs> all the banter's still there, oh, isn't yes. it? Why have you decided to do it? Um, well, it's Baby Lifeline. I've always had something I've always wanted to do, a charity show, and just get a load of UK wrestling scenes, always been big, um, and get all the guys together that I can, just to pull it in from, I used to wrestle myself and retired about seven years ago, um, and co-running some promotions, just get everyone back together and go, right, let's put on an old, you know, old school family show, the old world of sports style, granny bring your handbags, hit the baddies on the front row, uh, we know a few of the good old, the, 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 the legends, the He's legends, careful, careful now, <laughs> He will punch me, I know. <laughs> as long as he doesn't get his hands back out. Yeah. So to get them together and to, to raise some money for Baby Lifeline, which is just, you know, a cracking uh, local charity um, that's close to my family's heart with uh, with a connection with my late Uncle Terry, who was one of the founders with Judy. Really? So it's um, doing what I can. You, you're always practice and push on your strengths and see what you can do and actually get out there and, and raise some money for a worthwhile charity you and gonna, have fun. Are you going to get back in the ring, Bayer? Well, I'll ask you if I'm emceeing it just to introduce everybody. <laughs> but I don't know about getting back into... I couldn't get the wrestling boots on now, I don't think. You couldn't? It's too long Do you still got them? Do you still have them? No, well, I've hit them <laughs> when I retired, so I didn't get the nerves to go. So you'd had enough of you, uh, yeah. you, you in the wrestling boots, Yeah, well, you? I had 20 years in it, you know, and it's like when we were doing it, we were getting 15 million viewers on the Saturday. I know. You know, and uh, I loved every minute of it. You know, and uh, I fought Big Daddy over 700 times. So that's in Was the it rec- that many times? Yeah, that's in the record books. But you got to remember, where I worked seven nights a week. Mm. I was in a different town or a different country seven nights a week. You know, I went to Africa with the rest and Italy and other places of interest. You were interest. quite lucky, weren't you, really, then? I wasn't lucky. I made my own luck. When I got in with joint promotions who, who owned the television rights, they, they liked me. Um, but I had like two careers because at first I was like uh, a beginner and I 
was I was a good guy and I used to throw roses to the women in the ring, uh, in the audience. Um, so I did that. Um, He's still a good guy. He walked in here and went, how's my favourite girl? Yeah, well, I used to drive her. I was your chauffeur. <laughs> he used to look after us, he did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's why I'm involved with Baby Lifeline, you know, because I've been with uh, Judy and Tim since the start of Baby Lifeline. And the years I had my business, because now I'm semi-retired, I used to drive all the celebs for them. So I used to drive Sophie Wessex, who was Sophie Reese jones at that time. Yeah, yeah. I used to drive her about, and I drove... Uh, Katie Ford, Alf Corey, who plays Tracy Barlow. She so, gave you any lips? She's a bit gobby, isn't she? She's a lovely girl. Is you she? Know, yeah, but, but I've driven loads of them. Harry Arman, QCMP. I've Met them all in the car. Doing all that, all the <laughs> driving for, uh, for my mates. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what's it like for you now seeing wrestling uh, how, compared to how it used to be? Because it's very different. I mean, it's yeah. still a stage show, isn't it? But yeah, it's very different. It's not like I'm a great believer in what we did, you know. Um, but I'm still in touch because my son's one of the biggest names in England, like the, the wrestling at the moment. Um, and he's all over the world. He's Romania, just everywhere. Um, and he works as Thunder. What's his name, then? Thunder, What's they call Thunder? him. Thunder, yeah. But he's got, like, a Phantom of the Opera mask. And he's built like... He's Alan b- big lad, is he? Oh, well, he makes me look little. <laughs> <laughs> so like you are, your little teddy bear, aren't you? Yeah. involved. But also, what I've managed to do this time, I'm godfather to Chris Adams' grandchildren. Wow, OK. And Chris w- was a terrific wrestler, uh, and he got murdered in America. And his brother is N- Neil Adams, the NBA mm-hmm. judo silver medalist. Yeah, yeah, Olympics. I know the name. Yeah, yeah, of course. And his son-in-law, uh, Adam wrestled for the WWF and all the big promoters in the map happened to be that he's coming over on a family visit to see me and his family. Oh, he timed it, Bob on. Timed it, Bob on. Didn't he? And I just said to him, you know, do you want to have a, a, a go over here? So I said, you better bring your gear when you come. So um, he's going to be on the bill. That's quite boy. an accolade then, isn't it? And people all have that name then yeah, to, to look know, forward he to. Yeah, he lives in Florida. You know, he lives in Florida. He's got a wonderful house in Florida. Oh, I bet. And he's, as I say, he's done it. Been... Who else have you got on the bill then? Who have you roped in? Uh, we've got a, a couple of local legends which are coming down um, who currently promote around the West Midlands, which we've got uh, Mad, Dog Ma- uh, Mad Dog Max from Warsaw, um, and a lot of the PWL guys are coming down and taking part. Uh, we've got a up-and-coming female wrestler who's over-touring from Australia, uh, Tony Storm. Um, she's on the card. Uh, she's due to try out with the WWE when she goes back to Australia in August. Um, and we've got some other uh, World of Sport guys, old bang, uh, uh, Keith Myatt and Blondie Barrett, who was Kendo Nagy's former tag team. Yeah, partner. but they weren't on as much as me. Oh, of course they weren't. I was, on, like, did... I was on every night. Like, left, you didn't off. let them on. You wouldn't let anyone else on. It's all about you, isn't it, Banger? <laughs> Always got to be. <laughs> what about these ladies coming through there? That's a bit different, isn't it? Uh, the only ladies I got involved with were to just stick up my backside. OK, right. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or it be an umbrella. Yeah, OK. And um, will there be any of that, do you think? Do you think there'll be a bit of that? Oh, well, we're, the we're handbags, pushing, hopefully. Yeah, we're pushing it as, I mean, we're, the way that the Americans do it is glitz and glamour and showbiz and... I mean, we're putting a bit of glitz and glamour in it, but it's it's the old world of sports style, the family show. You know, there's no cursing and swearing in the ring. There's, there's hardly any mic time with the lads coming in, and they stand too much time now talking it's and egging the crowd. It's a waste of time, isn't yeah. it? You just get, like, on get on and do it. Wrestle. Get on and I wrestle. I mean, we've got a full card. I think we've got about 13 matches over the three-and-a-half-hour show, um, so it's constant matches all the way through. Uh, with an interval, uh, a raffle, and then a huge Royal Rumble at the end with everyone's taking part, where another wrestler will come in every 60 seconds, and it's just going to be pandemonia to actually keep control and that. But uh, it it's all like going it to be a good fun. I mean, we've even managed to enlist another Coventry uh, guy in, uh, Baz Patterson. Um, he's going to be the special guest referee on the championship match. And you know he's uh, down so, a film star, get yeah, right. Well, look, star, yeah. Just the other day, telling his so, story uh, actually. Yeah, so he he's jumped on and he's part of it as well. So it's uh, it's bringing a lot of local legends and and 
I've been overwhelmed with the support I've had from the guys through the, the industry and talking to people, and literally every single penny on the night is going to the charity. You're quite excited about it too, though, aren't you? Um, I'll be glad when it's over now. Yeah, it's a lot of organising, isn't it? Uh, it's been taken over. But, is it uh, health yeah. and safety mad trying to organise something like this? There's a lot of red tape to get through. Uh, there, there is and there isn't. I mean, most all the guys are trained. They're all trained professionals, so it's um, they know what they're doing. Um, so the you know the, the, the old health and safety risk assessment is that they're all qualified. They know what they're doing. Um, Makes you know, it easier. You, you don't just get someone out of the public and say, right, I'm going to wrestle you. It's it's you know. Or it's someone hasn't put their boots on for a while. Yeah. So, but it's. Uh, <laughs> I mean, they, they are. Everyone that steps in there is is a bona fide wrestler. So they're all. You know, it's it's not just pulling people off the street and going. Oh, come on! You want to be part of a wrestling show? Um, it it is an art form. It's 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 entertainment. It's like gladiatorial. Doesn't like, it hurt show. though? Doesn't it? Hurt? Uh, oh, yeah, it's got to Yeah, it's got I mean, I, I, I sometimes I take offence when people say it's fake, and I do. Oh, come on! Get in the ring. Um, See how fake this it's is. It's far from fake. It's it's entertainment sport. It's there's it's a little element, isn't there? Yeah, to you're it. telling a story. You, you, you're having some fun, and accidents do happen. People do get hurt, but it's done in a controlled environment, and it's you know it's uh, it's good wholesome family entertainment. You know, foam fingers waving and booing and hissing and shock reactions from people. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's it's going to be a good night. And more wrestling than talking. But most yeah. importantly, let's not get this, you know, it's we want to raise the money. So we, we, we need saying, the place packed. Yeah. John was saying not every single penny will go to the charity. Yeah. It's, now tell them where it is, John. Well, it's at uh, Bishop Ullathorne School Hall, which is on Liso's Avenue in Coventry. Um, tickets for adults are £10 and children under 13 uh, are £7.50 when adult. Um, tickets are online, can be bought on the website which is uh, wrestlea.org.uk and we're all over Facebook, we're all over Twitter. Just search WrestleAid on Facebook, you'll find us there. Uh, I think Twitter, we're WrestleAid, Wrestle underscore Aid. Yeah, yeah. And then on uh, the actual championship belt's actually got its own Twitter account at the moment. I love that you've it's, got a belt it's for going, this. It's going round visiting, uh, it visited West Midlands Ambulance Service in honour of Terry. Uh, earlier and it saw the West Midlands fire service yesterday um, so that at the moment is doing its own journey it's because no one owns it at the moment no one's won it can you get your picture so. taken with your belt you can see where I'm going with this but what, uh, what, <laughs> we, you, you, it would Please. like to visit you yeah. it will, uh, it will yeah, but what, take what, a photo with you Thank what's you. happening at the moment I'm sure John will agree there's a big renaissance yeah. back to 60s and 70s 80s wrestling and I was on last night on Sky Sports 3. And they showed this show we did called Time of Their Lives. It was yeah. me, Mick McManus, and Rollable Rocco, three of us. And the feedback they've had has been phenomenal. And last week they showed it nine times. So uh, You cleared your diary, yeah? I'm looking forward to the royalties coming back. <laughs> He's honest, if nothing else. Um, absolute pleasure to see you, Banger. I haven't seen you in ages. Going. Absolute pleasure. And we wish you all the, the very best with it. Um, so let's just remind people, Bishop Ulthorne School Hall, that's where it is, and it is uh, happening. Remind me, remind me the date, it's uh, 19th, 19th of July, July. So yeah. a week Saturday, so people yeah. have got a bit of time, but a, a bit of notice as well to free up their Saturday nights, come along, bring the family. It starts at six. Yeah. Phone fingers, can you buy them there? Fingers. Phone fingers will be on sale along with some charity wristbands. So uh, they can have their photo took with a legend. Well, legend. Bang. Uh. The photo took with me. <laughs> and I'm only having people that are paying for them having is the that, photos. And that it's all going to the charity, right? It's all going to the charity. Of course it is. Right, good. Well, it's, it's fantastic what you're doing. And it sounds like you two are going to have an awful lot of fun as well. You ought on to the come night. Along. Well, now my fellow knows us. Um, you'd be surprised. You, you try and stop him going. Um, you thanks. A million for coming through. Absolutely lovely to talk to you, and uh, here's some of your memories as well. Really, really nice, and brought back memories for me in uh, in the old front room inside my Wendy house, um, watching it as well. That's how I used to watch it, uh, Banger, via the uh, via the Wendy house. That was in the front room in the bay window. Cheers. <laughs>